good morning guys uh, good afternoon evening wherever you're watching this from um, I have an update on the cat rescue from last night at the colony uh, the news again isn't good the cat passed away during the night so uh, Natalie from uh, Natalie's feral babies or my feral babies um, and Kim uh, gave the cat the name Angel so I'm going to post some photographs that I've taken of this cat so that we can remember them. And um, just a tragedy. It doesn't have to happen, you know. If we just spay and neuter our cats and if we support TNR and get these feral cats spayed and neutered, um, this horrible suffering wouldn't happen. I'm also going to include a couple of the pictures of how bad the cat was because I think people need to see it. I think people need to see, you know, uh, what happens when we, um, you know, we don't fix our cats and we let them run around the neighborhood and breed and have kittens and, um, you know, or you breed your cats at home to get the kittens because you think they're cute and then you try and sell them on Craigslist or whatever and there, there's just not enough home for all these cats. We have thousands of cats every day that are getting euthanized in this country. Thousands. So it's, um, and we're talking healthy cats. And there's, you know, these aren't sick animals that are being humanely euthanized. Um, there's just too many cats. And this is all because people won't spay and neuter their cats. So um, again, I implore people, if you have cats at home and they're not spayed or neutered, it doesn't matter if you allow them out or not. Hopefully you don't do that because that also is terrible. Um, spay and neuter your cats. You know, it's the only thing that's going to uh, bring an end to the cycle of suffering. I also uh, received some comments the other day about the, um, you know, the opening statement that I have in my, my video openings, uh, you know, talking about the day the last feral cat passes away and uh, somebody uh, commented how much I didn't understand about cats because uh, of what I had put in that statement. Uh, there's a difference between wild cats. Uh, this person brought up wild cats and I'm assuming she's talking about in Europe during the plague, bubonic plague, black death, uh, and the rodent populations exploding. Um, the cats we're talking about here in the United States didn't originate here. They're not native. They're domesticated felines. They, they've been domesticated for 10,000 years. These are not wild cats. These are cats that for one reason or another ended up outdoors. Either people were irresponsible and allowed them out. People abandoned them. People dumped them. They had babies out there. Those babies are born in a feral state. Feral is different than a wild cat. Feral means it is a domesticated cat that is not socialized to people, meaning it hasn't spent time around people. It was born outdoors. Most likely its parents were feral, their parents were feral. Uh, a feral cat is a lot different than a wild cat. We have wild cats here. We have natural wild cats here in North America. We have bobcats, we have lynx, we have mountain lions. They think they call them pumas down south or something. Uh, you know, cougars, same thing. Um, those are the natural predators for North America. Domesticated cats are not part of the natural ecosystem here. So we're talking about apples and oranges. And, you know, I don't do this channel so I can debate with people who knows more about cats because I really don't care. You know, I've been doing this for 10 years. I love cats. I care about cats. That's why I do this. Um, but, you know, this is, you know, this is the United States of America. You have free speech. You can post whatever you want. You know, doesn't mean I'm going to agree with you, but more power to you. And, um, you know, thanks for sharing your opinion. Um, but back to Angel. Angel passed, and um, Jackie and I are really bummed. Uh, Kim was really bummed. Natalie was really bummed. Uh, another good friend of ours in rescue, um, Consuela and Annie, were really bummed because they all came together to try and help this cat. Um, but they weren't even able to get the cat in to see a vet this morning. Um, the cat died. Angel died during the night. So, like I said, I'm going to post some pictures and I'm going to do a little montage for Angel. And uh, you'll probably remember him from other videos that I had posted months ago. I've got some videos, you know, that show him. He's the one with the bobtail. He's missing most of his tail. He just had a little nub. Um, and, uh, you know, this happened really quickly because, um, you know, I saw him a couple weeks ago and he was fine. 
You know, he's at the colony, nothing wrong with his eyes, nothing wrong with his nose, not no snot, no respiratory looking stuff. Um, this happened really quick, and I hadn't seen him in a week or two. So obviously, you know, when cats get sick, they kind of hide away. And thank God one of the colony feeders, Vera, uh, called me last night when she dropped food off and said, hey, there's a really sick cat. Can you get down here? So, uh, you know, I had to grab my inhaler and walk as quickly as I could down there. But it, it wasn't a good sight. You know, it was terrible. So Natalie was actually able, if you watch the video I posted last night of the, you know, the 911 rescue video, uh, she was able to walk right up to it and put the net over it. So it couldn't see. It, it couldn't, you know. It was, it's terrible. So please spay and neuter, you know, please don't let your cats roam outside. Um, I, I know a lot of people out there think they're doing something good for their cat when they do that, but they're actually putting their cat in a lot of danger. Um, you know, there are a lot of people out there that absolutely hate cats. There are a lot of really evil people that will do bad things to cats. Uh, not to mention getting hit by cars, you know, getting attacked by dogs. Um, so just please don't let your cats roam and please get your cats spayed and neutered. It's the most important thing we can do to try and slow the overpopulation of these cats. And, um, you know, it's just a, it's a tragedy that can be a, avoided with just a little responsibility, a little personal responsibility. So thank you guys for watching this. I'm going to roll that picture montage now of Angel. And um, there is going to be some graphic a uh, couple graphic images. Um, if you if you can't watch that, I will I will put the graphic images at the end. So that way, if you just want to see, you know, eight or nine pictures of what he looked like when he was healthy, um, you can stop watching when it gets to the bad stuff. But I will put two pictures at the end that show what Angel looked like uh, right before he passed. Um, you know, for for people that haven't spayed and neutered, please look at the pictures because, you know, that's that's the end result. You know, these cats are not designed to survive out there. They're domesticated. They they do have instincts and stuff like that, but you know, they're not designed for this, you know, living in urban areas like this and it's it's just terrible what happens to them. So Rest in peace, Angel. I uh, didn't want to make this video, but uh, I had to. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And until next time, do something kind for cats. Doesn't matter how big it is. Just do something kind for cats. And I'll see you in the next video.